Hey guys, so today I am bringing you a review that I am really excited about. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know that I actually work for MAC Cosmetics and when I heard that we were finally launching a matte lipstick, um, a liquid matte lipstick, I was like, thank God, we're finally on the same bandwagon as everyone else. Uh, they launched on January 8th, and I was able to get my hands on a couple of them. I saw online that they sold out, like, right away. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, so I knew that when we were launching on the counter that I needed to get my hands on any of them that I wanted. So the two colors that I got were Oh Lady and uh, Two Matte with Love, and I'm actually wearing Two Matte with Love right now. So this is my first day um, actually wearing them and I will check in after work. I've got I think a seven hour shift um, and I will actually do an update video on how I felt about these throughout the day. But first review, like first impression of these, first off, the applicator is the bomb.com. Like that's all that I use to apply what's on my lips. I didn't have to reach for um, a little lip brush to touch up corners or anything like that. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer so I can show you exactly what this looks like. So this is what the applicator itself looks like. It has a little pointed end to it, which is perfect for creases. You can't really see it, but in the middle of the actual fuzzy applicator, there's a well that holds color, so you don't have to continuously like keep dipping in here for colors. So the two that I got, this one is, um, I need to remember these names better. It's To Matt With Love, and this one is Oh Lady. So let me do a quick swatch of both of these. I absolutely love Oh Lady, and I tried it on a client yesterday, and she was of my complexion, and it was so pretty on her. It was like the perfect vampy purple. And then I really like, um, too matte with love because it's pink but I'm not a neon pink girl I like a little depth to my color let me see if I can get that to focus in on me so this one right here is too matte with love and this one is oh lady now I will tell you that the shades that I saw yesterday and what I got to play with there are a lot of oranges um, mostly mostly orange almost there's a couple of purples a few pinks and a few reds um, there was a matte shade and we sold out like instantly at counter for that one. I guess a lot of people wanted that one. Um, so I didn't get to play with it, but if you know matte colors, it's pretty close to Velvet Teddy in liquid form. Which, I mean, Velvet Teddy is a huge color. Everyone and their mom loves it almost, so um, that, was, that sucked to miss that one because I was going to get that one too. But first impression of it on my lips right now. It, they are slightly a little bit tacky and I've had this on for about 10 minutes so it's had plenty enough time to dry um little tacky as far as like the the wet line of my lips I felt like it applied really well to there and it adhered to that um but I also kind of like left my mouth open for a little bit and let it dry so that my lips weren't touching each other and like contrasting and pulling colors to one lip or the other but I'm just overall excited that MAC finally jumped on the bandwagon and again, I will check in later and see how this feels throughout the day. There's no transfer on my finger. Um, so once they're dry, I feel like they dry and they're on there. So we shall see what a seven hour shift does to this. So um, I'll insert a clip right now and it'll be seven hours forward. Hey guys, so I am back now after about a eight hour to nine hour day um, doing a review on the color that I'm wearing now. This is the uh, the matte with love and I've stayed through with this color throughout the day. Um, so after wearing it for the amount of time that I've worn, I've got some field notes that I feel like would be helpful to anyone interested in matte um, lipsticks or even in these ones in particular, the matte brand, the MAC brand. Um, I had to touch up after lunch, which was around one. Until then, the integrity of the product was great. It stayed on my lip. It stayed the same color. There's no change in the color. Once it's dry, it is there. Um, some of my cons to the product, I would say, 
are that um, it is extremely dry. Like it is very dry. If you're not the person who is used to a liquid lipstick, it's a very new experience. Uh, they are very, they're very matte, they're very dry, and you feel them on the lips. There's no doubt about it that you have a lip product on. Um, this one put in particular stays a little bit more on the sticky side, um, which for me wasn't a huge problem because um, I'm busy talking all day and I'm not really like rubbing my lips together or anything. Um, so I did, I wasn't too, too awfully bothered by that. One thing I noticed in, with this color in particular is I didn't get that white rim around um, the actual wet line of my lip, which I think is fantastic. I have a huge problem with that with regular lipsticks in general and a couple other of the MAC, formula, MAC formulas that I have. Um, and I did not get that at all with this. So that's that's a pro. Some other cons. Um, right now, I'll actually show you, I'll zoom in and show you a close-up of what exactly is going on. Um, so as far as transfer resistant, they're no longer transfer resistant. They are very transferring. I can wipe my lip off. And also it's kind of flaking up and peeling off. There's little particles of lip color going everywhere. Also, something else that I noticed is that it didn't necessarily adhere to the texture of the creases in my lip throughout the day. I, can, I noticed that I had like lines through my lips which isn't necessarily, you know, attractive or what I want my formula to do. Um, another, uh, another pro about this is that the color stayed beautiful throughout the whole duration of the wear. Um, it didn't oxidize, it didn't change. Also, all the other colors that um, MAC has come out with are stunning. I've seen a couple colors that I've never seen from anyone else. There's a wonderful variety of color. Um, I would suggest, of course, that they make like a mauvey pink because everyone and their sister seems to love that color. Uh, some of the like Kylie Jenner colors, I don't feel like they hit that mark. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not too concerned with Kylie Jenner as a company, but um, as a consumer, I know that I would buy that color because I love mauves. Uh, also some nudes. We had a lot of like orange base ones but not any true nudes <coughs> like I said like the velvet teddy one they just didn't hit that mark um I would say out of a one to ten I'd probably give this a five it's right down the middle it's not horrible it's not perfect but it's still a great product I will continue to wear them um I don't think I'll buy any more I think I've got these two unique colors and I'm happy there um but yeah overall I think they're great products. You just have to be used to a matte lipstick. If you aren't, I don't suggest these for you. If you want to get into them, um, I would definitely go to a counter near you, try them on, wear them around, and see if the texture of these is going to fit fit you as a person. Because they are hard to get used to. Sometimes this one's really a lot more dry than I'm used to. So throughout the day I had to get used to that. Um, but yeah, so I think that's really all the notes that I have for these products. I am going to step up my review game and knock out a couple. I've got some really great products um, that I've been testing out that I'm stoked to do a review on. Got some skincare too that I want to review because I've been having the weirdest skin with this climate change from moving from down in the swamps to up higher elevation. It's way colder up here. There's no humidity. So it's been really weird. So a lot of really good moisturizing stuff. Um, and also just some skincare talk. I went to school for skincare. so. I feel like I've got little notes and things that I love to add in there. So if you are interested in a uh, skincare review, go ahead and thumbs up so I can see that you guys really want to see that if you have any interest or you can um, leave questions down in the comments. That would be super helpful so I kind of know what questions y'all guys have. <laughs> Excuse me. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.